Well, there you have it. The axles all mounted. Um, the instructions do not give uh, any torque ratings on how tight to torque this thing down or anything. Um, however, uh, again, just like with putting the axle on top of the spring, the plates under the spring, there's a hole in the center. There's a nub on the other side of the leaf spring, so it lines up correctly. So you don't have to worry about, oh, do I have this thing lined up right? It pretty much does it itself. Um, that step took all of about maybe 10, 12 minutes to do because of tightening everything up on four, four nuts. And they're lock nuts, so you don't need to worry about washers or anything. They're lock nuts, just like um, the leaf springs went in with lock nuts. So I've got everything tightened down fairly evenly. It's just how I did it by eyeballing it to make sure it's even. Even. Now, the next step looks like in the instructions, like they want me to mount the fenders, but that just doesn't make common sense to me. Uh, so I'm going to go to another step and then come back and put the fenders on. And that step is going to be doing the draw bar tongue. The draw bar slash tongue here. I'm going to put that on because I think it's going to be easier to go that route. So that's what I'm going to do next. Once I have that on and have the fenders on, then I'll show you what she looks like after that, because that's pretty much straightforward from the instruction manual. Now, one thing I don't see in the instruction manual, and I've been looking, is how to assemble, because it's in two pieces with the hinges, with the gas hinges already mounted, the gas lifts, at least not hinges, but the gas lifts already mounted uh, to the bottom side of the clamshell. But nothing in the instruction shows how to put this thing together or put it on to the frame. However, like I said, I'm a handy guy, so I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to show you how to do it. And that's going to be another comment that I send them on this trailer is um, that ought to be in the instructions on how that part goes together and how it goes in. I also am looking for how... Uh, much torque I should put on these lug nuts when I mount the wheels um, because I didn't see anything I'll look again but I didn't see anything on that I did read somewhere online where most people that run these types of trailers are running about 40 uh, pound feet of torque on these 40 foot pounds of torque on this I do have several torque wrenches around in my shop uh, so I will do that um, if you wonder why I'm, I'm doing this inside my house, by the way, um, it's because it's nighttime. It took a little longer for my trip than I planned because of traffic, got caught in rush hour traffic, and it's raining. So, and my garage is packed to the gills right now with other stuff. So rather than try to get stuff out of my garage and be out there, it's a little chilly out there too. Uh, it's, I've got the room in my house here to do it here on this nice little rug. So that's why I'm doing it inside the house. And, of course, the lighting's a lot better in here than it is in my garage anyway, so you can see. But I'll get back, like I said, after I put these other parts on.